Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be unboxing and assemble this Cascade collapsible bench. It has a sand feed um, that kind of you know stand better, lightweight, and has a latch and would fit two people. Uh, as picture, and then it's uh, good for the support up to maybe four hundred and fifty pounds. Um, the unit itself uh, weight 3.6 pounds as they claimed and this mainly says that it is distributed by Costco wholesale in different countries uh, so that's pretty awesome so it's like worldwide made by Cascade Mountain Technologies let's open it up and see what's inside before that just the last, last shot of the article number uh, yeah let's take a look just uh don't want to cut the sticker but i think i want to keep it so it doesn't matter uh personally i think it's a little bit pricey but given the weight um, it feels really lightweight for a bench like this and and this size so it's well worth it plus it's i don't think there's too many of these out there besides costco right now uh i don't think i can find any on amazon just yet but uh, let's wait it and see. So I use my very trustworthy USPS digital weight scale, and it says it's three point one two. So twelve divided sixteen, so about three three quarters of a pound. So that's pretty close to what they claim three point six. That's three point seven five pound. But because I'm weighing the the bag, the carrying bag, maybe that's why. So let's uh, unzip this thing and take out the content. So it's nicely packed. It's not even like full. So that this is probably uh, the surface of the chair, the bench. And then uh, let me zoom out a little bit, adjust the angle. So as we see, there are a lot of aluminum pipes in there. Uh, adjusting, adjusting, yep. Yeah, a bunch of nunchucks. Um, so basically, there are four sets of these. Two of these are the legs, like this. So you snap them together and it's kind of connected by these elastic strings. Um, but overall, I don't know how long these elastic strings gonna last. Mm. But that's okay. It's not like we're leaving it in the sun 24 seven. So that's one piece of it. That's probably one side of the leg. And then the other side Zoom out a little bit, adjust the angle. So slide in the skinny one and the big one will automatically snapped on. So this is the first time doing it, so I don't know what's what's what, so it's gonna take some time, but second time around I think it should be pretty easy because I now recognize the parts. So this is one of the pole that support the top surface of that the fabric and then the second pole so then just double check with the instructions see what I'm doing it wrong correct seems correct so two cross one bar connecting the middle and then the 
a, a kind of a latch system. You squeeze this, and then I can pull outward to release the clamp like that. So that clamps to the horizontal bars, I assume. So now that one side is left, one side is right. Connect that in the middle with that spring button thing, yeah. And there it is, the basic framework. And uh, it says just to make sure that the U shape is facing outward, not upward. So it's facing outside. So it's pulling, stretching the fabric material away from the bars. So turning it away, facing outside. Release the clamp right now so that I can slot in the horizontal bars. So let me first now slide these bars into that fabric. Hmm. And uh, there's two sides to it. One side has the loop for you to hold on to. The other side is closed. So, yeah, is this the side? No, it seems like it's blocked. So this side is closed. There's no hole in there. So I have to just switch around. Nope, yep, it's the other side. With these uh, hanging loops. Yep, so there's a hole here and there's a loop there for me to pull on. So I can slide through here while holding and then voila bam here we go and then yes that shouldn't be too bad so that won't poke through because there's no hole on that side on the far side and then now on the close side and um, it, you can pull on to the loop and slide that over the pole, the end of the pole. This is the second side. Slide it through. Let me show you that loop there. So this is the end part of the part where there's no hole doesn't go through and then the top part right here you can pull the cover on so it stretches a little bit more so that tension keeps it in place same thing here pull and get let the tension kind of wrap it, wrap it around. I wish it had some kind of locking mechanism, but uh, it doesn't, so it's fine. And so now I'm ready to land that on to the latch. So I've turned these outward. Double check with the direction. Any additional stuff I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, there's more. Nope, nope, that's the other language. Same page, same instruction. All right, I'm just gonna land the top part first because there's no latch, no Clipping mechanism, phase it outward. Make sure the label is on the top. Got that in there now, it's trying to put this on. And then the right side.
snap down. Yep, there you go. Now, because it's pulling away, so it's, it stretches the fabric to make it taut. So, this is pretty lightweight, as you can see, right? And uh, I think it's good, even good enough if I have two of these and stack them together, so I can be it can be a sleeping cot for camping, but. It might be a little too narrow. Um, so the the width is about forty four inches long, sixteen inches wide, about sixteen inches off the ground. So yeah, there you have it. Um, this is the review. Well, not review, but the unboxing and assemble assembly of this. Uh, Collapse and pinch, and I hope you like this, and I will see you later.